How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about live drum replacement. What I mean by this is I'm going to be taking an audio file and we're going to be transforming it into a MIDI file and we're going to be triggering our own samples from that MIDI. Uh, so basically, what I have here is a raw kick track. Let's hear what it sounds like. Alright, so it's going to be for more of a hard rock song, and we're going to be transforming this into MIDI, like I said. So if we double click it and go to the sample editor, inside the sample editor we go to factory and audio score. And audio, audio to score is going to be a function that will transform that audio into MIDI. Now there's a bunch of presets. Um, obviously I'm going to be using drum fast because it's going to be more of a hard rock song. And those kicks are going to be coming at a faster rate. And that's all going to have to deal with the granulation. As you can see, the different drum um, presets just change the granulation. And all the granulation is, is how this function transforms each transient and how it reads each transient and makes it into a MIDI. Our attack is when the MIDI is going to the MIDI file is going to start in conjunction with our transients. Uh, the release is how how long the sustain is going to be for each MIDI track. The velocity threshold is <laughs> for example if you have a snare track and there's light snare hits that you don't want to include in your MIDI you can increase the threshold to not include those into the MIDI track but if you want to include them all just make sure that your velocity threshold is at one now there's also the normal and high I'm going to be changing that to high quality and then there's time correction if you'd want that as well alright so I'm just gonna hit process and it's gonna open up the uh, score uh, window which we don't really need but what this means is that we have now a MIDI file uh, that's going to be, and each MIDI note is going to be uh, where each of our transients in our original audio track is going to be. So if we create a software instrument track, um, and this is just a, a kit inside of Ultrabeat, the Indie Live kit, and we drag that MIDI down to the software instrument, we can trigger uh, the kick inside of Indie Live kit with this. MIDI. Now, what happens is sometimes, actually most of the time, um, the MIDI is all over the place across the keyboard, and you're going to have to make sure that all of this MIDI is on the right note, depending on what instrument you're playing. In this case, it's going to be kick, and our kick is going to happen on C1 inside of this kit. So we have to move all of this MIDI down to this one track, which I will do really quickly in skip. Alright, so now all of our MIDI is on the same C1, which is going to be our kick track. Now, what's nice about this is that the original velocity of our audio file is contained inside of the MIDI data. And you can see that here, um, as if we go to the MIDI uh, drop-down menu, we can see that it's all over across the board. And this is going to model the original audio file, which is very nice. Uh, so basically... Uh, Let's just play it, see what happens, what's, what's the differences from b uh, before to after. Uh, so let's solo and see the before again. So already, without any EQ, compression, any other plugins, anything else on both of these tracks, you can already tell that there's going to be a major difference in the tone in these tracks. And uh, you can mix these together however you'd like. Um, and just play around with it until you get the exact tone that you want from this kick drum. And you can do this for snares, you can do this for cymbals, you can do this for anything. And uh, the only thing I'd really be careful about doing and suggest not doing would be the hi-hat. Uh, the hi-hat's very hard to model with uh, MIDI, as probably you know already. So that's the only thing I would be wary about tr uh, switching into uh, a MIDI format. So everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, Comment, rate, subscribe like a bass. Go rate my or go choose my next tutorial in the link in the description below if you would like to do that. And I will be seeing you all very soon. Peace out.